Roscoe. Hey, uh, it, it's harvest time, bud. We uh, we have to get going. Okay, looks like you're ready to go. This morning, time I boots up, cause I knew it's gonna be a long day. Tie my truck up, grab my coffee, and kiss my baby, and got on my way. Alright, so today, as you guys probably tell by the thumbnail and title, today we are gonna be doing some harvest. Now, the oats field is ready to go here. I'll just run down here. All right, so as you guys can see, the field is all good to go here. So we're going to get out the combines and everything, and we're going to get going with that. All right, so let's open this up here. So today, I think we're going to have to grab... Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to move this out of the way so we can get the harvester out. And we're going to have to move this out of the way. Also, I'm going to need the grain truck at some point. Oh, also, another thing forgot to, to say uh, I did find a better deal on a square baler now this thing is a bigger square baler than normal it's a kind of a, a large square bale model so yes it's gonna be a little more expensive than regular like a regular square baler but it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna be able to make squares like twice the size and it's on a for a pretty good deal it's actually almost brand new it's slightly used it's actually a demo model I'm, I'm really going with the trend of demo models here I guess because this this white's even a demo model but yeah it's looking like it's gonna be a great buy so we might go pick that up later today I don't know uh, it's at the dealership waiting for us so maybe we'll go grab that and, or maybe later anyway we got to get some harvesting done today I don't know if we're gonna get it all done today but we can try oh yeah that sounds so good all right so I just want to lift this header up real quick here We'll get out of here. All right, I want to be careful going over here. All right, we're going to get this thing out to the field here. I, we're not going to start until we get the gravity wagon and the truck out there. That way, we're all set to go. We're going to have loads of space to store all this grain. Also, depending on the situation, uh, if the oats are at a really, really good price, I might t just take them straight to the co-op there to sell. All right, so I'm just going to get a quick outline going here of what we're going to need to do. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to go this way here. And we'll just get into the field just a little bit. I don't need to go too crazy, just a little bit. I think that should work good. Yeah, something like that there, just so we're good to go. Yeah, I think that, that'll work for now. So we'll shut this down here now. The reason why I'm going to need that bigger square baler is because, well, straw. So we're going to be able to get all that straw build, and then we'll be able to sell that as well. All right, so I ran back here. I got, I'm going to grab the grain truck here. Hopefully it starts up. Should. Oh, yeah, it starts right up. All right. So we're going to grab the grain truck here. I'm thinking also I might want to grab the gravity wagon. I wonder if I want to tow the gravity wagon behind this, actually. I might do that. Hold on. I'm just going to open up the shed doors here, and then we might see if we can hook up to that. It should have the right hitch, I think. Yeah, we actually might be good to do this. All right, let's get out of here. We should be good. I don't think we're going to hit anything. All right, there we go. So we'll just get this out of here, and then we'll have to close up the doors. But I think this is actually going to work out good is it i don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this though is the only thing yeah i'm thinking about it now i don't think we're gonna be able to pull that out of the field if especially if it's a little soft yeah actually you know what uh, i'm gonna unhook this here and we're gonna hook it up to the four-wheel drive all right we got the four-wheel drive here we'll just hook it up to this because it'll be the easiest thing to kind of just use to pull this thing around and since it is pretty decently heavy so should just work out good all right so that's hooked up there i'm gonna just gonna take the uh grain truck all the way up to the field there and then we'll run back grab that and then we should be good to go to start uh to start doing some harvest here now we do have loads of bin space so we are good to go for all of that uh if it is a good price at the co-op if it's like a really really good price like better than we've seen in a while because uh, i know there's a little bit of shortage of oats right now because last year wasn't so good apparently it was really really bad uh, so they do have a shortage of oats right now. So if it's a really good price, then I think we'll be good to sell it because I know I'm one of the first people to get oats, was one of the first people to get oats in the ground. So if I can get them out earlier than everybody else and sell them, because uh, as soon as everybody else's oats are ready, they're going to have a huge influx of oats coming in and then the price is just going to drop. So really, if we can get going on this pretty fast, I think it should be good. But I think for now, we're just going to use the gravity wagon just to kind of get uh, the bulk of this to run around to most of the other parts of the field but if we do end up going back and forth here i probably will set up one on each end I actually this should hold more than the actual grain truck i wonder Alrighty, so i was wrong the grain truck actually holds more but i don't see how that is i guess it could it could hold more but anyway it's about it's pretty close so 
I'm thinking we'll just use the gravity wagon for now. All right, she seems to be running good right now. Obviously, it shouldn't be any issues because this thing is brand spanking new, so there shouldn't be no issues, but this one should run fine. But man, it does look real good. Looks real darn good. I almost wish I had someone to run gravity wagon. That'd make it a little bit easier, but uh, I think for now we'll be fine because we just have one combine, so it can't be that bad. But I bet you just the yields are going to be insane on this. I'm just looking how fast the grain tank is just filling up and it's just rising like crazy. So we should uh, we should have a good year this year. Um, I just have one field planted, so it's not going to be crazy good. I just didn't have time or I couldn't afford to really buy a lot of the seed to plant more fields because the seed is quite expensive and spray too. But we did have a decent amount of rain and sun. Like we actually had a, a good amount of rain to the point where it actually got stuck. So... It's, I think it's going to work out pretty good for us. Shouldn't be too long of a harvest because we kind of just have the, the one field here. It is a decently big field, but I think next year, um, if we do end up looking at upgrading combines, we will get uh, something decently bigger. Um, or we might just get two of these. Two of these, I think two of these would uh, be able to knock out a lot of the a lot of the ground we have, especially if we buy more uh, very easily because it's just... It's a massive combine, so. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And if you have not already, be sure to turn on those post notifications so you can get notified when I post. And you can be one of the first people there. Anyway, we're looking at about 64% right now full, so not too bad. We're yielding pretty good. Like, we're not even all the way around yet. And if we can get it all the way filled up before we're even all the way around, that's going to be great. I just do want to get a decent headland, at least maybe two or three headlands before we start going back and forth there but uh, once we start going back and forth i may stick a gravity wagon and then the grain truck can stay where it is i'll stick the gravity wagon on the other side and then that will be easier so we can just dump back and forth there and they should they have lots of room each so we shouldn't have any issues with that we should be uh pretty good because they both have decent amounts of space so it's not going to be too hard to have to go and dump one every so often it's like we're not going to be dumping them every like couple loads well maybe every couple loads but like not every load so that'll be nice i just didn't need two of them i think one is pretty good especially since we got the grain truck all right so we're sitting around 97 percent right now i'm gonna have to probably because there's no approaches down here so i'm probably gonna have to go all the way around just to get back to the to the trailer oh boy we're full here all right back up i went over some crop but oh well i guess it just is what it is but anyway we gotta take this back to the gravity wagon there and we'll offload it there but i'm thinking we'll just go around the other way and then we should be able to have at least one row done but man this common is great i like it so far it has like a good header header width it's it runs great it harvests decently fast and i think jake and grant have the exact same model of combine here i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they do i know grant does for sure but i think he has more corn going this year than he does uh oats so It'll be interesting to see how corn does for him. And who knows, if I have more time, if I get hang done pretty soon, uh, I might go do some custom harvesting. I can, I have a corn header that I can buy. It's pretty much set up to go, so I may end up buying that. Alrighty, so we are good to go. That's emptied out here. So I'm just going to back on out of here. And then we're going to go around the other way here because we're already over halfway around, so... It'll just be easier for us to go back the other way and so we're almost around the uh corner there so if we hit up that if we get to that corner and then we just take another headland right around and we just go back and forth towards this side on the, or at least on this side it'll be uh pretty easy for us to keep up with the grain cart and stuff all right going back up this side here looking pretty good it's kind of a oh is that jake that's looking like jake Perfect. He's out here. I was going to talk to him anyway. All right. We're just going to lift this up here. I'll stop that. All right. We'll just shut off our comm on here. All right. There we go. Hey, boss. I uh, I was just out and about. I, uh, I stopped and uh, met old Hank over in uh, in town got getting a coffee, and he told me you were harvesting today. So Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, I don't know how he knew I was harvesting. He must have been by here. I talked to him yeah, today. Yeah, he said he drove by. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yeah. I got this crop in pretty early, so it's good to go already. Yeah, it looks... What, you got oats? Uh, yes. Yep, I did. How's the yield looking? It's really good. Like, really it good. 
Yeah. That's good. I just wanted to check up on your, uh, you know, your your yield and everything, because it's kind of my job at the co-op, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. How, um, what's what's price like there for oats? Because last year was pretty. It was quite a drought, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, price is decent. It's it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's definitely up from last year. I I have a feeling you know here in the next month it's it's gonna drop off. Quite yeah. A bit, once but. people start bringing some more oats in and stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think once I'm one of the first people. In, yeah. I'm I'm one of the first people that got theirs in pretty early. So. I'd say so. Yeah. For sure. I haven't seen anyone else harvesting oats around here in the county yet, so. Yeah, well, I guess I got it pretty early because Grant was just planting corn there a few days ago. So I was like, what the heck is he doing? But apparently it's still still yeah. good to plant. Yeah, you can plant corn pretty late. He's going to have a tough time getting it out before winter, though. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. He might be harvesting in the snow. Yeah, he might. But, you know, corn's not too bad in the snow. So yeah, that's means, true. That, that would suck. But corn, yeah. you know, it can handle it. Yeah, I might end up doing some custom harvesting because, well, I got this one field here, and I'll probably get it done in a day or two. So, yeah, I'm thinking uh, I might go do. I might go grab a corn head because I know what, like Grant is gonna be scrambling to get his done because he's. I think he's only got one combine, right? Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna be scrambling. I, I guarantee you, if I buy a corn head because he planted a lot of corn, I'll be harvesting corn for him. Oh, I bet. I bet. I'm certain of it, actually. Yeah, so I'm, I might invest in one <laughs> and just... Uh, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's a good idea. There's one sitting down in the dealership as well as a new baler. I want to go check that out. Yeah, I was actually... Um, I have to I have to pick up a baler as well. <laughs> Wait, anyway, I got to get back to harvesting here, but... Uh, yeah, I got I, a lot of work to do, too, but um, you ever going to stop down at the co-op? Just let me know. We got people there working right now, but uh, if you need anything, just... All right, so is, would it be a decent price to come down there, bring in maybe a truckload down there today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, you should do it today if you're going to be selling in within the next couple months because you wait a couple, you know, you wait a few weeks here, the price is probably going to drop a lot. So. Yeah, does it usually pick up here in the winter, or not really? The price? Yeah. No, it'll pick up again. Um. Yeah, towards the kind of endish of winter, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm wondering Early if I just store it. them in the bin. If I take like a load or two in now, because I do need a little bit of cash here. But uh, yeah, whatever you need to do, boss, just hmm. uh, just let me know. All right, well, I will let you. I'll phone you on the landline if I uh, if I end up taking some down there. But uh, for now, I think I'll be good. Maybe th maybe yep. this afternoon. How late are you guys open? Uh, right now we're open until. We're open till uh, seven or eight. Uh, depends on who's working. Um, harvest season, when we actually get into it, we'll be open till about nine. So. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we should be able to get a load in by then. Yeah. Yeah. It. We got a little while yet until that. Until that time. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna get back harvesting because I got a lot of this to do. Oh man. All right, yeah. boss. Hey, you should. Uh, you should take your. Um, you have one of those film cameras, photography. Uh, I think I have one in the house, yeah. I'm just saying, because I've been looking at your combine on this hill with the sky right there. Dude, that's beautiful. You think that's so? That's picture worthy. I think so. Hmm. But anyways. Maybe I will. I'm going to get out of your hair. Alrighty. I'll see you later, bud. See ya. Alrighty, let's get this thing started up. We got to get going again, because we got a lot to do. It is already later afternoon, so if we do get a load in, we're going to have to get going here. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll start putting him in the truck there, because I think I should be able to get a load out by the time before they close. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, the combine's already halfway full, so maybe. Yeah, man, this oh, these oats just seem to just yield like crazy good. Like, really good. Like, be better than I've ever seen them before, so. Just had a good year, I guess. We had a decent amount of rain. We got good sun. And it was just a good mix, I think. But I'm thinking a few loads here, and then we should be good to take load in and then uh yeah should be a good day all right so we got the headland down done uh kind of down there it's good i didn't go all the way around because the one side i didn't really need to because i already got the other side so i just came back up here and then we're good i think so at least should have enough room to turn around there but i'm just gonna go back and forth here because it's gonna be our easiest way just to get to the carts and stuff and then we'll eventually move them down here and yeah it'll just make it easier 
Briss is going back and forth here because I think lengthwise is going to be easier for us. That way we're not turning so much. All right, combine is full again, but I think either one or two more loads and we should be good after the, I guess, maybe one load after this for sure. Or it might be this load that truck will be full and then we can take it into the co-op there and get it offloaded. All right, so that truck is about as full as it we're going to be able to want to put it at least. So I think that's going to be good for the load. We should be good to take that into the elevator, I think. Yeah, it's... Let me check my watch. Yep, okay, we're still good. We still got loads of time. Always good to know when you get loads of time to do something. All right, so we're going to get this down to the elevator. Hopefully, I don't screw up, crash in the ditch. I seem to do that a lot. You know, that seems to be a trend here. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be going slower because I don't want to crash in the ditch, of course. So we're just going to take it easy here. We're not going to go too stupidly fast. But uh, yeah, we should be good. All righty, we're just pulling into town here. I guess slow it down, slow it down. There we go. That's more like it. Probably need to stop and put some fuel on this thing. Probably after we're done unloading there. We need to go get some fuel on this thing. Grab a quick bite to eat. Then we should be good. Alright, so Jake said he's either got some guys there or he's going to be there, I guess. I hope he's there. Prefer dealing with him versus one of the other guys. Just one of the easier ones to deal with, I guess. Alright, we'll pull in here. I haven't actually offloaded grain here before, so it's going to be interesting. Alright, looks like we got a green light, so we should be able to go ahead. Alright, we'll just pull in here. Oh, he's in there. Okay, he's already in there. Perfect. Hey, boss. What's up? Uh, not too much. Just bringing in a load of green for you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, you on the skills? What do we got for weight there? Uh, what, what do we got? I'll, I'll let you do it. There. All right. And, okay. Go ahead and pull all the way through. Uh, I'll, I'll walk up to the one that you're going to dump in. I'll, uh, that way you know where to dump, and then we'll get your way out weight. All down right. Down at the other end. Sweet. All right, I guess we'll just pull up here. I don't know where he wants us to pull up to exactly. I think the next one at least. All right, looks like the next one, I guess. All right, we'll just pull up here. Something like so. Okay, we should begin. Are we good? Yep, go ahead and dump. There we go. How's harvest been going so far? Uh, it's been going good. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. Getting a lot done? Uh, yeah, actually a decent amount, but it's yielding like crazy. It's yielding like... That's good. That's good to know. Yeah, I've almost got a full gravity wagon, or a half full gravity wagon, and I got this already, and I'm just getting on the on the back and forth. I took two uh, headlands around, so, yeah. Yep. All right, I think it's empty there. Yep. All right, you want right, to get so my way out weight? Pull forward. Yep, pull forward right on here, and we'll get your uh, out weight. All right. All right, you're good. All right. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, you're good. I'm going to enter this stuff in right here. And uh, do you want us to put this into your account and get paid when you're done with your full harvest? Or do you want... Uh, you, can, you can just do that. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. That's All right. what we'll do then. Yeah, appreciate it, bud. All right, have a good one. You too. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to say that's a successful afternoon. Oh, boy. I came pretty close to that pawn. Anyway, if you haven't, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Or maybe if you're not new. Maybe if you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed, you could subscribe. Also, if you have not already, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified when I post and you be one of the first people there. Anyway, probably next episode we might get, uh, might get done some more stuff. I don't know. I guess we'll just see. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one.